Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Today we are going to talk about the experiences of the players. So, not, not but still. Uh, we are going to start with the opening range trade. Generally, how the week has gone by, and uh, most of you would have uh, taken profits. Some of you would be always in losses. That's not a problem. So you, that means you, do, you don't have to worry about it. The experiences will teach you how to make profits. Even if the splits are going to profits, you will be in losses. Not at all a problem. It's a normal thing, uh, a usual thing. You are learning, and uh, you will you will once you learn everything. Even if uh, the stock doesn't uh, give you profits, you will make big profits. That's not a problem. At all. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, don't be fretful. Or don't be shy, don't be ashamed or uh, any kind of a thing. No, you don't worry about it. You are still in the learning stage. So you don't have to worry if you have not made profits. It's a usual thing. For some, they have not made profits. It's a usual thing. Even I have not made profits now. So I'm also learning. Uh, probably uh, some people like uh, Soundarajan or um, Jagdish have made huge profits. I'm not ashamed. I'm not worried also. I know my time will come. See, a person will become rich at the age of uh, 14, 15, 16, or 20 also. So some people will get rich only at 75. That doesn't matter. They have their own cycle. So we don't have to worry about it or we need not have to be ashamed of it. We are learning. We are learning. So each one, every day, we have to learn one new experience. That's a good thing. So once you start learning, you, once you experience, once you feel that it's okay to go along with this uh, go, it's a fantastic thing. So you, you should never be worried. So you are, at the end of the day, you have to see whether you have experimented some new things in your life. At the end of the day, that's the most important lesson you have to see. At the end of the day, have I done anything new today? That's the only thing you have to see. Once you say yes, and after some time, you will start experiencing the profits. That's not at all a problem. So let's go with the what, what has happened in the opening state this week. This agenda, we are going to see the overview, the reasons for failure, and the OR experience having. There are a lot of people who have come at this time. So some seven, eight people have come. So let's learn something new from them. Now the first is overview, how the stocks have performed. OR stocks from 30th uh, July to 17th July. These are the stocks which I've seen. 13th on 13th, we have seen Manapuram. The OR low was 160.95, OR high was 162.65. Breakout time. What is the breakout time? There is, it, it did not break out. The next one is Muthut Finance. That is also, uh, the OR low was 1087.05. The OR high was 1117.25. That also did not break out. The third stock. That stock is, oh, on the next day, that is a Monday, that Tuesday, there was no newsletter. So that's why the uh, blank has come. And the first uh, Wednesday, Godrich Consumer has come, 696.20 was the OR low, 707.65 was the OR high. And the breakout time was, I think it uh, broke out and gave some profits. And uh, no, it did not break out. That also did not break out. And the next day, or the same day, we got NIAT tech. 1604.95 was over high. 1560.05 was over low. The breakout time was 10.08. So these are the things we had. And uh, next day, we had on, on the Thursday, we had Mahindra Mahindra. Over low, 542.55. War high was 556.50, 10.23 broke out, and it gave 6% uh, return. Then finally, Asian paints had gone from 1000, uh, the war low was 1690, and the war high was 1720. It gave a return of 1% so far. It's still continuing. NIT Tech was a uh, master blaster. It gave 10% return on the ne very next day. So these are the stocks we had, and uh, none of the stocks had given negative returns. None had uh, 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 given a war low. So that's a very good thing. It's a very wonderful week. So you had no chance of uh, making losses. That doesn't matter. Some of you have made losses. Means uh, that's a learning process. As I told you, that's a learning process. So 
how to learn better we'll uh, talk go to the players and ask and before that you have reasons for failure why we are uh, failing that's the most important thing we have to understand why we are failing what are the reasons jagdi says emotions we are failing to control the emotions that's the most important reason for failures see suppose your stock goes from 90 to 93 let's assume that it is broken out at 90 rupees so it has gone to 93 94 and then market is not in a straight line it will not go 90 91 92 93 93 as we learn in the lkg or ukg we say one after one it is two two three and all we'll tell but the market has got a peculiar thing it after three it will say two after two it will say one and then again it will say three so uh, that is got a peculiar one that's the reason why see we have not learned it like that we have always read we learned far with yes. one three four five six seven but market has got a very unique one where one two three then it will come one again then again two then again one then again minus one then again three then again five so we are not able to control the emotions so the moment it goes to 94 and then comes to our buying price zero that is zero or it goes negative 89 minus one that is minus one that's what minus one is because you are minus one from the uh, our purchase price you get uh, you get a fear you get a kind of a butterfly in your stomach a hey man what am i going to do am i going to lose i should i have uh, booked a profit at 93 I am mean, not a fool to stand it again, stand alone, uh, in the uh, and uh, losing all the all my profits. So these are the feelings you get first in your mind. So the most important thing is how to con- you know, control your emotions. See, stocks are same for everybody. See, we have seen that the same set of stocks are given at same test set of time, the same set of uh, price we have given it. But one makes twenty uh, percent, one makes twelve percent, one makes six percent, one makes five percent, and some make. Even minus two or minus three, why does it mean? What does it mean? There is no secret uh, thing. The only secret is to control your emotions. The most important thing is you have to control your emotions. That's the most important thing. Whenever your mind orders you, okay, man, you are wrong. You are wrong. Always my mind gives you an order. So you are wrong. You are wrong. You are wrong. You are wrong. Because we have been brought up like that in the school, in the college, in the even in the house. we always get that no uh, positive uh, uh, people don't give positive words very nice people we have uh, we are surrounded by very nice uh, parents we are surrounded by very nice teachers we are nice, nice professors we are nice, having a nice uh, a group set up of friends where they say that you can never do anything that's a very good thing so you have to come out of this uh, ocean you have to come out of this uh, uh, unreasonable uh, thinking and then say okay you can do it and then you have to perform so for that you have to control your emotions the most important emotion is the fear fear is the most important thing so you are fretful always what happens uh, if i lose all the money you always think so that's the thing that's the reason you have to control your fear to it is not only controlling thing supposing you win with 1 lakh next you have to increase your load you have to check with what uh, what if if i increase the amount to 2 lakh or what if if i take it to 5 lakh that's how you is every next level of trading requires a different view that means you are you have to control your emotions see so the same kind of mind set will not be there when you are trading with 1 lakh or with 5 lakhs the mind will order you different uh, things when you are trading with 5 lakh if your mind is calm at 1 lakh that means 1 lakh is not a big amount for you but when the mind when when you trade with 5 lakh the mind will command you the mind will say okay when you are going to fail if you are going to fail then you are going to lose 5 lakhs it's not so so how to control it simple way for that is find out your uh, stop losses and then calculate the amount you are going to lose in the street let's say that you are going taking at 890 assume that your stop loss is at 89 and assume that you are uh, you are buying 1000 shares now let's say that it is 90000 okay 90000 so 90 into 1000 is 90000 shares what are you going to lose you fix it 1000 rupees if i am going to lose i am going to lose 1000 rupees mind don't worry about it i put a stop loss so i am not going to see this If I lose, I'm going to do thousand rupees. That's all. You t- order your mind like that. Thousand rupees are not, not a big amount for me. I can afford to lose. I'm exp- going to experience a like, great line, uh, amount of adventure here. So it is like uh, going in a uh, roller coaster, right? Or uh, if you are not uh, aware of uh, your uh, uh, riding, bike riding, or car riding, you think that okay, I'm going to ride a car. 
for which the fee is thousand rupees. You just think like that. Thousand rupees after all, I'm going to lose, but I'm going to get enormous experience from this. After all, you're going to, when you when you die, you don't take all this money and go go up to heaven. All of you are going to heaven only. Don't worry. You are not going to take all the money and then go on. So have this experience. Don't worry about that. If you are going to have, if you are going to lose thousand rupees, don't attach too much to the value of money. That's the main thing. People are attaching too much importance to the money, and that's why they are not succeeding. I know a lot of people who are very rich, but still they fail in the market because they attach too much importance to the money. Don't attach too much. You just be relaxed. Money will automatically come to you. So this is all. No, you fix your losses. Okay, thousand rupees. I'm going to lose, and then leave it alone. Then the mind will be cool down. The mind will say, "Okay, fine. If I lose, I'm going to lose thousand rupees. If I win, I'm going to win ten thousand rupees, or three thousand, or four thousand rupees. I'm not worried about it. The next time when you win, you can always say, 'Okay, now I'm not going to lose anything. Whatever I have made, I'm going to be, I'm going to bet it here. Whatever I have made, let's say, let's say that you have made three thousand or four thousand rupees. Whatever I have made, yeah, I'm keeping it as a loss. I'm taking two thousand, and two thousand I'm keeping it as a loss." And then I'm going to fly. So I'm not going to. Still, I'm. Uh, uh, I got money from this. Then make a make the stocks to fly. So you can easily win this game if you change your mindset. That's the most important thing. Is changing the mindset. You are always fretful and emotions. You just don't give damn to it. Money is not a important thing. Money is after all, it will run after you if if you are, don't care about it. But if you attach too much value to it, it will run away from you. So this is a important lesson I want to give you. So you control your emotions, control your fear, and how do you control? I have given the set of easy and uh, easy formula for you to control your fear. So every day morning when you get up, you say that okay, today I am going to experience the nice things in OR. I am I am I am born to win. I am born to win the market. Don't think that you are going to lose the market. Even if you have lost money, always think that I am born to win. I am going to win. Ten uh, thousand rupees from the market today. You just have a positive affirmation. Even if you don't uh, make ten thousand that day, next day you will make it, or next to next day you will make it, or ten days after you will make it. Don't worry about it. Make a positive affirmation. Morning, afternoon, and evening you make it. Before, after, at the time of see, especially when you are waking up, you just think, I am going to make a wonderful day, and I am going to win money in the market. The night also you have to sleep. Before you sleep, you go to sleep. You have to think that. You're going to make money in the market. Only then you can make a wonderful money in the market. So this is how you can overcome the emotions and fear. Let's uh, see that this is my experience, and let's be uh, let's talk about the others' experience. We'll go to the participants and then find out. Now, so first, I would like to call upon Akshay. Akshay will talk to you uh, about his experience. He's a very uh, nice guy. Small, uh, he's a small timer, and uh, still he has one wonderful one. So Akshay, can you introduce yourself? Akshay is from Mumbai. He is 18 year old and he is last. He is doing a third year of BFM. Fantastic. That says he is making profits and he is enjoying his trading. That's a great thing, Akshay. Thank you, thank you very much, and uh, uh, thanks a lot, Akshay. So we will go to the next uh, uh, set of uh, uh, people. Uh, we will call upon Raghavendra. Raghavendra will talk about it. He is from uh, Bangalore. Uh, he's an, uh, he is from a uh, real estate background. He's a great guy. Uh, who knows in and out about uh, trading? He reads uh, every day, uh, Dalal Street and uh, Capital Market. Not only that, he reads the New York Times and uh, the all kind of newspaper which is published in the US. So he follows both the Indian and the US market. He's a very interesting guy. We'll uh, take some tips from him how to win the market. Uh, yeah, thank you, sir. Good afternoon, all. Uh, well, uh, as I said. I used to read some uh, U.S. market as well. And uh, regarding this OR tool, uh, I changed my perspective at looking at the stock. Uh, usual, uh, what we usually say is when the stock price is going 
uh, when usually says stock price is coming down and the stock price is going up instead we can say the stock price is going down and the stock price is coming up when it's going down it's going away from us we have to let it go what i mean to say is to keep the strict stop loss and when it's coming up it's coming to us we should allow it to come as much as possible so that that thing it takes me one month to learn the change the perspective when it's going away we just have to let it go as i uh, said we are fixed that if we uh, most of the overlo is maximum of 2% uh, negative 2% so we know that it's gonna maximum we're gonna lose the 2% so we have to fix the mind while buying so maximum if we are investing on lakh we are know that we surely know that we're gonna lose at least 2000 so but there is a limited uh, losses but when it's coming to the profit there is a unlimited we can make uh, much more up 10000 profit or 20000 so as uh, just simple just uh, these two words making going and coming make a huge difference in our perspective in looking at the stocks and well i am planning to sell the stocks only at the stop loss i am not targeting like uh, for, for example i keep on changing my stop loss trading stop loss If it is going up i will keep on changing when the present price i will just keeping the stop loss below the 2% or maximum in my mind my maximum profit is in the stop loss profit not what the present trading profit so if it is going down to so my profit is secure so in that way i am trying to uh, build my uh, tool thank you, well, thank you thank you thank you thank you very much sir. that's a wonderful wonderful thing when it stocks moves up you say that it comes towards you when it moves away you say okay fine it's going away from me and leave it just like that fantastic good yes, good sir. thank you very much uh, raghavendra uh, let's sir, move on to shrinivas nalam shrinivas nalam is from hyderabad uh, and uh, he's been in the market for the past uh, 12 years much seen let's take some examples from him and learn uh, wonderful lessons from shrinivas hi everyone uh... i hope everyone is in good uh, health uh, i want to share this uh, actually i am against this trading because it is not helping i mean it is contradicting my day to day life of office work but when i heard about this word from our sir um, i want to give it a try and first one week i made some mistakes uh, like uh, the mistakes i can say it's just um, trying with low amount It's, it will not help you in this uh, scenario which what are the good practices is we have to respect the stop loss and over high and uh, we have to believe in this process uh, if you believe it within one week or two weeks you can start earning it i strongly uh, convinced with that i am uh, experiencing good profits now uh, is key points is rsa and vwap this graph this chart is helping us to decide whether you have to continue or you have to exit uh, and uh, this is one more point is it is not for intraday it is just uh, we are entering in a day and we will continue in the market as long as it is respecting the rsi strength as well as vwap chart so uh, the lessons i learned is we, one is we should not play with a small amount it should be around it's a good amount and the loss is we have to oh, restrict ourselves it's like a weekend spend and we have to maintain the journal trading journal so it is correcting me uh, all my mistakes which happened uh, in the week one so i'm good in that now good sir good. yes thanks thanks a lot very much thank you uh, i can understand that uh, you have to keep a stop loss you have to keep a trading the trading journal and third one most importantly do not worry about the losses fantastic uh, yes message well conveyed so thank you thank you very much viewers so finally we we'll, yeah thank thanks a lot uh, another important player is uh, rajesh rajesh arnagiri has already participated in our Our first meeting. So we can't neglect Rajesh because he's a very seasoned player, a great mentor. 
he always serves uh, all the uh, he he comes with a group actually he he is at the three four people all along he greets lot of people in our group so let's do, hear something from rajesh yeah uh, thank you sir thank you for the opportunity once again and also for your kind words uh, what i would like to share here is uh, the most important thing which we have discussed earlier also uh, like when we look at the war stuff that we are getting right uh, it is not just like you know uh, output of a scanner which is just thrown to us rather a team is working on it and they are already doing lot of ground work before it is being shared to us so th- that means uh, it should automatically give you the confidence in the system which as i told in the other uh, discussion in the first week i was not having that but then later when we understood how this process works right all the filtering is already being done and the scripts because right the scanner may give 10 to 15 scripts but the ones that are being shared to us are being looked upon and uh, based on different criteria which share us share us already shared with us and that is what is being shared to us so the process that is happening should give us the give us enough confidence to go ahead and make our entry based on the rules that has been set and see again as as i have the it background i may not be able to spend the full time sitting and looking into all these things which i was again you know doing it in the first week because that is like you know first time when we are trying to do it but later once you have the confidence in the system you you set up everything in your trading system and then forget about it so uh, one good example that i can talk about is one of the stocks which i was i entered last week and then uh, market was also fluctuating but uh, the script was so good that it never hit the stop loss for three days and the fourth day it gave me a handsome return so th- that is the belief that i want everybody to have on the system which will definitely help us to make progress and obviously uh, like all the others shared right it is not going to be like 100% profit in everything though all this ground work is being done because uh, in a, you, you never you cannot predict what is going to happen but these are all the most probable stocks which will make us win is what uh, my learning so far is and that's what i would like to share sir thank you thank you thank you rajesh fantastic you have to have patience with uh, the stock that's what he says that uh, if it doesn't go up in a single day you have to wait for 3 4 days also it will definitely go up he says that's what we have also experienced i think a uh, lot of stocks have given wonderful returns after fourth day fifth day also and uh, people are uh, very impatient uh, with their script they actually what they do they do is they get uh, 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 exposure from the brokers and then close it on the same day what will happen that will create losses so if you are having 1 rupee they go for exposure of 5 rupees 10 rupees and all so if they make a losses what will happen it will wipe out your capital so even 10% of your supposing you have 10x 10% of your loss is more than enough to wipe out your entire uh, uh, capital most importantly once you lose 2% 3% and all uh, that means you are losing 20 or 30% when the exposure is 10x it will give a lot of pressure for you so don't go in for future exposures let's slowly and steadily win the game now i i call upon mr cb raja he is really a king in making he has done lot of uh, trading and uh, he has learned certain new techniques also let's uh, find out how he is managing uh, his time with the, the job and also uh, give us uh, the secret formula to make lot of returns thank you sir and uh, thanks for the introduction and uh, hello all and um, i i would like to share my experience like uh, earlier i had an opinion like uh, the trading is would take all our day time and uh, we will not be able to uh, get out of it uh, even uh, with profit or loss however after uh, uh, introduce, introducing to this uh, over technique i was able to uh, make this process with the help of the trading platform where they provide the uh, automatic uh, way of setting the stop loss even gaining the profit and come out of the scripts and uh, the 
in from the one of the session from the saw session i uh, came to know about this particular philosophy the opportunity comes like a bus on daily basis so there won't be any uh, cases of uh, missing something in our life so after learning this simple uh, philosophy i was able to overcome that uh, main fear and the emotions and um, i uh, currently the approach i am taking is to exit with the uh, profit of 5% and exit with the uh, overload and um, i will continue to uh, follow this uh, technique and uh, will uh, learn and uh, continue to add on to uh, gain the profit and uh, uh, from the profit the main thing i am uh, following is to do not take the profit out of that uh, portfolio will continue to uh, increase the portfolio size on the daily basis to improve that uh, capital gain yes sir thank you thank you thank you ramesh viraj fantastic yes, thank you sir logic so we will call upon sharavan sharavan you know that he is a chella play he is a nice guy who even teaches me certain things so let's call upon uh, saravanan who knows lot of what hey. or uh, in fact uh, he <laughs> or this which i told and uh, he helped yeah. me a lot in several ways saravanan please go on no uh, thank you sir for uh, guiding us on this and uh, i'm you know initially first week uh, uh, of war uh, we i played with small amount and uh, it went well and then i increased it then i i screwed myself like two weeks uh, was not making it because of increased uh, i became more emotional and then it, it uh, then i realized that and made some corrections in it um so i made some key changes you know in the the last weekend and then la- uh, last week um first thing is uh, i was actually having all pet uh, you know pet pro- pet stocks and i kept monitoring it uh, like more open and all the whichever gave break out i keep watching those and then i also tried and centering into those i think those things were also adding up into the losses the first thing is i cleaned up everything i keep only stocks that is there from the over list whatever is given on that day and then whatever i have it from the previous day as the opening uh, volume so i cleaned the watch list so uh, it is it helped me to uh, concentrate on the key stocks that is coming as a over list and then uh, also when you exit something let's say i i exited hcl and uh, infosys a lot before well before but then uh, at when it when i see it going up uh, why don't i jump in is the feedback i get from my mind so why don't we enter at uh, 900 again and then see if there is any profit so i also avoided that by removing the those stocks from the watch list uh, so mind will keep asking us to go back and invest something so i took some time to straighten the mind and just keep to what what is given in the list uh then uh, you know once it is going uh, like hcl i exited then we should not worry about it that is also i learned and then very next day uh, i i get next stock and it, it is giving by 10 percentage or 5 percentage so we should get rid of the old one that you already exited um, and then we should also check for the commissions uh, you know that terminal or whatever uh, service provider we are using Uh, i was losing a lot in the commissions so then i realized that and then uh, i got suggestion to move on to the next terminal where the charges are very less so we should keep checking that uh, and then another key one is uh, you know don't keep checking it i think that is something we should avoid uh, there will always be fluctuation so when you glue to the seat and keep seeing it only then it creates a problem so you cover your uh, uh, losses by putting a stop loss and then just don't check that maybe you reduce the frequency i i, I did that um, so i was just checking like once in the morning afternoon and evening so if you reduce that slot then uh, it will be a lot easier and forget that and then move on because you know you put a stop loss and it will take care of that so only when you keep checking it your mind keep pushing on to do something uh, like exiting or adding more funds and all that so these are some key learning that i have got i think this seem to be useful and last week uh, i closed with profits so i i hope that we we'll continue the same fashion coming weeks as well but because one is the foundation is very strong that is very clear uh, anything that can go wrong is only can come from inside of you so you need to know how to handle yourself then i think it is easy uh, to win in this thank you thank you sir and thanks a lot thanks a lot so we have uh, finally last but not least nagaraj nagaraj is uh, known to everybody in chennai 
who has been with us for about past 12 years and uh, he always wins whenever he goes he always wins so we have taken several uh, trading classes he has attended he wins in the competition the trading classes even in the uh, regular uh, investing course also he wins he's uh, he's got a great uh, acumen to win the competitions even now he has won around around 12% from the market last week so let's take some clue from nagraj and learn how to win from the market thank you so uh, here is my experience for the past uh, few weeks what i've learned from or is that um, first and foremost is to have the belief uh, the tool is given to you believe in yourself and be- have faith in the scripts and the uh, the second part what i've uh, what i've uh, learned is that you need to have a plan and stick to the plan so whatever may be the uh, uh, situation around whatever how good may be the script is or however whatever the baking news or uh, your broker is telling to you you just stick to the plan stick to the plan and that will uh, keep you is and the third important point uh, is that uh, you have been provided with tools use the tools appropriately and using the tool is also should have been, should have been part of your plan you know when to use the tool and when not to use the tool and uh, is it to be end of the day or it is to be 15 minutes or 1 minute or it should be part of your plan and uh, that will make you uh, you know uh, make profits and then the uh, most important point is to have patience as long as everything is going by the plan you know have patience you don't need to rush either to sell or to buy or to make profit or to make a loss so, you know uh, you don't have to rush that way you know you have a plan and then uh, that will guide you when to do all these things and the last but not the least make peace with yourselves mistakes can happen you know i've made a lot of mistakes but each and every mistakes i made sure that uh, uh, to make note of it and learn from it that will help you to improvise your plans also and make a lot of profit thank you oh thanks a lot thanks a lot he has come with a plan he has shared the plan and definitely this should help even now i am going to my trade with the nagraj experience fantastic thank you thank you nagraj so finally we have come to the other session and uh, what is the concluding message you would like to give uh, Sir, all... so, so why is this fading, sir? Can I come closer to the mic? Okay. See, the fear kills more dreams than failure ever will. That's the most important thing is uh, we are always fretful in the life or in the uh, whenever you do certain things, new things, even the trading or in the investing, you always you are fretful. You are always doubtful. So I know a friend of mine who is very rich but he always doubts say whether i have to go uh, for it i have to invest more in that so he always tell me you give me assurance and then i'll go for that i always tell take assurance from the market because market is all if you if you believe the market that means you have believe yourself and then you are going ahead with it i am not there see if i am going to have 1000 shares of uh, uh, let's say biocon and you are going to have 2000 shares of biocon uh let's say one uh, saundar has got uh, another set of uh, biocon but he has short uh, biocon that is he is in the negative market doesn't know that kannan is a good man saundar is a bad guy so we should give profits to kannan and uh, good uh, losses to saundar he doesn't uh, bother about it when it goes down it decides to goes down it goes down uh, heavily from 400 to 360 it will go so i will think okay man i have done lot of good to everybody why i am losing whereas the sounder has not done anything good to anybody but still he is making profits you should not think like that you have to understand your plan is wrong sounder's plan is right so you have to think like that so please don't think that i am good guy why it is why it's me you would never think like that whenever the stock goes up you never think like that why me you would never say you say that okay man i am great i have done it because of my intelligence you always think like that you don't think like that always take it in a positive way the last stock is going down because you have done wrong something wrong so you are positive on that but uh, the stock is going down take your losses immediately don't wait for the stock don't hope for that don't pray the god and break coconuts so if you are going to break coconuts uh, i am going to uh, take it out, away from you and then make chutney in my house so you don't worry that at your cost i am going to make chutney in our house so that's the most important thing is keep the fundamentals with you 
everything all kind of plans you should uh, imprint in your mind and then go without any ego or prejudice or any kind of emotions you will definitely win the market with this i end this week uh, session and let's go ahead and then win the market in the next week thank you goodbye <laughs>